talking to our kids all week about I mean, we still have a goal intact. And, uh, you know, that goal is to have a winning season. But we got to make this first one of five straight. And uh, just getting the kids to understand that and believe that. And this is a good jump start to it. So, um, you know, I was, I was pleased with the way the, where the kids performed today on offense and defense and special teams as well. So um, we just got to keep that going and come back and get to work tomorrow on uh, NAU. It, it's, it's special in the sense that, you know, we're working on some things internally. And uh, I keep telling the kids we take care of us on the inside, inside our program, people will be able to see what's going on on the outside. So it's special in the sense that, that we got our kids to see some things that we needed to change, like I said, on the inside this week. And for us to come out and perform like we performed, it just strengthens that part of what we're trying to do. It's huge, you know, you prepare each week in practice to get a win. And so preparing and have everything falling in, falling in place and and coming out with the win is huge for us. It was it was great. Like it was great. Everybody was into the the sidelines, into the football game. You know, the crowd was into the football game. It was it was a great vibe the whole day. You know, we was just we just just happy about this win. It's, it's a great win for us. Everything's upbeat. Everybody's you know, offense is cheering the defense on. Defense is cheering the offense on, and that's how it has to be. Sometimes people think the change is always football, but the change that we're trying to make is, is just, just dealing with them on the inside themselves and understanding what they got to do to be the best football player they can be. So with the run game, we, we, we looked at it and we thought that we could run the ball. And we've been trying to run the ball all this year. And we looked and we, we thought that we could. And our O-line was looking at the film and saying, Coach, we can run the ball. And we came out and, and uh, put up 240-something yards rushing. It was awesome to see. Yeah, well, I was just trying to stick to my reads. Offensive line did a, a, a great job. You know, making creases for me to hit. You know, guys is just really bouncing off me. So I was just, I was just trying to get extra yards as much as I can. Just keep grinding. Outstanding job by him, and and most importantly, the offensive line up front just creating holes for him. And and he's lowering his head and getting extra yards and and just grinding it out. Coach said we was going, we was going like we was going run, we was going run a lot. You know. It, they, they stress technique, sound football, read my keys, you know, make sure I, make sure I know what I'm doing. So, and I, I, I executed pretty good today. Offensive of line did a, a great job, and I was just I was ready today just to to show to show what I was capable of. What you saw today is what we saw on film is why we waited so late to get him. And um, you know, we we did the same thing with him last game. You know, it's just. You know, you got to take what they give you. And so we were able to get it going um, with him running the ball, and it opened up the passing lane. And that's what the balance we wanted to be, is for him to be able to run the ball, and then they jump in the box, and then we can throw it on the outside. So um, it was awesome to see. It really was. How about Urbaniak today? <laughs> what he did? I mean, like, Richard Freshman. What yeah. Impact yeah, I walked up here, and I saw him sitting at the table. I was like, oh, God. <laughs> you know, what's he going to say? But... Um, you know, we recruited the kid out of high school. He was playing defensive end, linebacker, fullback, tight end. And so, you know, when you get a chance to get a body like that, um, you just want to get some weight on him and get him strong. And, and uh, yeah, he's a redshirt freshman, so we got him for three more years. And you can get – you got Chapel for two more years. You got Lex for two more years. And so, you know, you start to set some things up for the future. I've just been waiting for my chance to play all year. And uh, these last two games, I really got uh, a lot of playing time, trying to make the most of it. It's just putting together the football team, you know, and it, it may sound like a broken record, but I understand if you're going to get young men to perform out on the football field, you got to get them right with themselves. You got to get them right. They got to they got to start believing. And for you know eight nine years or whatever it's been, you know, it's been you know one class will come in and follow the next class, and it's just a perpetual motion that just keeps going over and over again. So eventually, something has to stop. Something has to change, and that's what we're working on. Got to come in tomorrow, uh, make the corrections, and continue to build off of this, and, and we can't settle at all. I'm not looking for validation. I'm just looking to win football games. You know, um, you know, the simple fact is we've still just won two football games since I've been here, and so we got a lot. Of, we got a lot of work to do. I, you know, I, as long as the powers that be that that you know hired me and, and, and they know what's going on. They, they're okay with what's going, what's taking place. That's really what matters to me. And then our kids are, are starting to understand what we want. And, and uh, we'll, we'll, the fans will come back once we start winning. But it's just, like I said, for us, it's about working it, putting it together from the inside out. And once we continue to get it together on the inside, uh, the outside, everybody will see what's taking place with this program.